Hi guys and welcome back to episode 2 of Q&A. I don't know why I forgot the name then, Q&A. Um, but yeah, I got a nice, got a nice mic this time because last time all you could hear was my fridge. So I turned off my fridge um, and put in a mic because it was coming off of the audio of the camera and then it was sound, it sounded really bad. So I'm hoping this will sound a little bit more cozy because you know, I'm cozy, I'm in my jumper right now because my hair is up and I can't be bothered to do it for the video. Um, so you know what, make a cup of tea, you know, get under the quilts, snuggle up and uh, let's do this. First question is from xxo.atlantis.ox asks Christmas countdown? Uh, well, eh, not really. I'm just gonna do Christmas themed videos this time, but don't forget it's in a playlist on my channel, so if you wanna go like watch it, rewatch it again, because I realized that is very hard to make. Like, I, I spend a long time editing videos now. Like, it used to be three hours. Now I spend a maximum of seven hours editing a video because I just want it to look nicer, be more professional, and then obviously, you know, trying to do that, trying to film a video, come up with an idea, film a video, then edit it, then post it the same night, and our Wi-Fi is really bad. BT, if you hear me, if you're watching this, your Wi-Fi is sh Okay, from S.2406.14 asks, how old is my dog? Schnoodles is four, and he's coming to five years old. It's actually mad. I felt like I got him like a year ago, but no, he's been around for a very, very long time. It's actually mad. It's actually mad. Theo underscore fan underscore n dot zero one underscore, that is a very intricate name, asked, what is the one message you would like to give to your fans? Honestly, from my heart, Thank you. You are. It's, I can't explain how good you guys are. Like honestly, and that's not just me having dyslexia and not knowing what to say. With you guys are special. So thank you. Also, I got my Christmas tree up in the background. You see Christmas tree over there. Star Seven Pip asked, "What advice do you give to other aspiring dancers?" Honestly, keep practicing. Keep practicing and dancing. It sounds like oh. It's the cliche thing, everyone says that, but it's true. If you just if you just stop and go, oh, I'm not getting any better at this move, or I'm not doing that, you're not gonna get anywhere. So keep doing it, and you'll eventually get there, and then you'll get higher and higher and higher and higher, and then you'll be flipping the twins level, you know? If you don't know who the twins are, go look. Demi.d.mirror um, asked, room tour? Here you go guys, here's my room. My bed's my bed's just in that house up there in the drawer. Um, kitchen over there. Yeah, that's my room tour, thank you. Um, let me know if you guys want a room tour 2.0 because I've changed a few things around here. It looks a lot different from the last one, uh, except for my bed. My bed stayed in the same place. If you want a uh, room tour 2.0, let me know. 28 underscore le underscore 81 underscore Jays underscore 47 wow us enjoying TikTok. you know what i haven't touched it in a few days because i get very addicted TikTok's kind of like one of them things where if you enjoy making cringy TikTok videos not all not all videos are cringy just, just some if you if you make if you make cringy TikTok videos and you're fine with doing that keep doing it because if you love doing it that's fine i'm more of a perfectionist and want to make it look nice and it not be cringy and then obviously that's just more work trying to find something good and sometimes it don't even need a lot of work to be good and yet I somehow put it through lots of work to be good that's why you don't see that many TikTok videos from me uh I'll have some soon maybe best defane underscore um asks if you could have a superpower what would it be teleportation because I could just be like, oh, Theo, we need you up at the studio. Oh, I'm at the studio now. I underscore 21, 25, 27 asked, 
how do you keep your hair out your face when you dance? Sometimes I don't. Here's a funny story. So last or this year's Butlins, um, we were we uh, we were doing the treadmills, the treadmills bit. There was a treadmills bit where we were on treadmills and dancing on treadmills. How many times can I say treadmill? Basically, I didn't have my hairband in. I keep it up with the hairband, by the way, if you were wondering. I did. I did a move. I did a spinny move, and I kid you not, a piece of hair this long entered my throat and touched my uvula. That's the gaggy bit down there. That was that was disgusting. I've also got bits going to the back of my eyeball. Yeah, I usually put a hairband. Sometimes it depends what it's like. If it's really droopy, a hairband ain't doing nothing. You might as well not have a hairband. But if it's kind of more solid, put a hairband in, forget it's even there. Jazzy underscore M-C-I-N-T-O-T-O-S-H-X-X. -X. I'm spelling these out for me in the editing room to write them and also I don't want to pronounce them wrong so I'll just spell them out from now on. Asked, can you do a better Scottish accent than Perry? Well, you see, I brew a very good video here of this and now I'm going into Pakistanian. No, I don't. I can really do a Scottish accent, I swear. No, no I can't. A-A-I-T-K-E-N-415 Asked most em most embarrassing moment on stage. I think the most embarrassing two moments on stage was on the Limitless tour reboot reboot and the original Limitless tour. So on the original one, we had this like solid box that hold the core and the glowy ball thing that's like the main part of the show. And it's it's a big box. Bear in mind I was little Theo, so big chunky metal box type thing was on stage and uh, I think I did like an explosion away or something and I didn't realize I was where the box was so I tripped over the box um, it hurt a lot and I cut all up my shin like the scars still there on stage but you know man got up didn't even look like anything had happened carried on oh and the second time was I tripped over instead of a box a solid piece of staging and basically did the same thing in the exact same place and then I think I did it on the tours after at some point on stage and then I did it this year on Born Ready so it's a tradition it's a tradition MET underscore one two three four asked would you rather eat five grams of cardboard or eat a tarantula Okay, well, I don't want to hurt the poor tarantula by eating it, unless it's alive or dead, I don't really care because it's a spider and I'm not a big fan of spiders. Actually, that's a lie. I like tarantulas. They're kind of cute. So in that case, I wouldn't eat the tarantula because I think it was cute. Uh, I'd probably eat the, the five grams of cardboard. Very specific, that is. X dot underscore Lucy E E E E E E E underscore dot X asks sushi or pizza? Never had sushi in my life because I'm allergic to most of the stuff. So pizza. I T Z underscore T G N D R N asks, do you want some fries? You, you know what? Yeah, if you if you're offering it, you know, I have to. light bulb underscore S A V V Y asks, if you had to pick a dog, cat, or horse, which would you choose for your pet? I'm allergic to cats. I'm allergic to horses. I'm also allergic to dogs, but not really anymore. So dog. Louisa dot R U S S X asked, "What's your go-to meal?" Well, you clearly haven't been on the channel because you'd know that my go-to meal is super noodles, all the time. Like uh, when I d I'm gonna film an ASMR in a bit, and I'm gonna be eating super noodles in that. So, you know, stay tuned for that as well. Cute underscore midget underscore S asks, is it food or foodie? Ah, oh, my head hurts. My head hurts from thinking about that. <sighs> But that, um, that, that's good. I'm going to leave you guys thinking about that. I'm going to end this video here. So hopefully you enjoyed Q&A part two. Let me know if you want a part three. I might do that next week because, you know, I'm pumping out videos and I don't want to put the Q&As too close. You know, I want to spread them out. Make sure you guys can think of a good question. And think of 
interesting questions. I want to, I want you to find the weirdest question or give me the weirdest question, and then I'm gonna scroll through, and whoever has the weirdest wins. That's it. Uh, but yeah, if you want a part three, comment down below. I'm gonna actually go film this ASMR like. Uh, so if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up, and if you're even better, subscribe. But until then, I'll see you later. in it.